Hi, this is Tarek Sami and Manos Berlakis, and this is case 177 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case entitled Little Too Soon for reasons that will become apparent shortly. The patient was a gentleman with severe angina, refractory to medical therapy. The angina was caused by a CTO of the right coronary artery. There was a previous attempt that was unsuccessful. What is challenging for this CTO is that the RCA has an anomalous anterior inferior takeoff. It is relatively long. The distal vessel is diffusely diseased. There are septal collaterals coming from the LAD. Our plan was to try to obtain good support and try and degrade first with a low threshold for conversion to retrograde. We did use an eight French multipurpose guide along with a guide extension. But we did not get the greatest support. We tried undergrid wiring with multiple wires, including filter XTA and guy next one, but we could not really get much penetration into the occlusion. Moreover, there was some ambiguity because of a side branch originating at the side of the occlusion. We decided to switch retrograde. Uh, we tried surfing initially that was unsuccessful, but then uh, we performed a tip injection into the septal. And then uh, we did surfing with a Sion Black guide wire and the Sion Black um, found a way all the way to the distal RCA. However, as is often the case with small, sometimes invisible, CC0 collaterals, we had difficulty advancing the microcatheter, the Corsair excess could not go, and we ended up switching for a Caraval. And then uh, um, after doing that, uh, we were uh, able to advance the wire close to the distal cap. Now we're trying to make the connection, and the two wires actually were very close, but once again we were having difficulty making the connection, so we performed the inch warming technique to deliver the 8 friends uh, guide extension, that's an 8 friends strap liner, more distally into the right coronary artery. Then we tried the guide extension reverse cart with the trap liner in the right coronary artery. We did have uh, some difficulty in making the connection. You can see that the wire is going on the extra plug space outside the guide extension. So what to do if there is difficulty with reverse cart? Sometimes a larger balloon can do it. We may change the side of the re-entry or use a different guide wire. And we did all of this. We tried progressively larger balloons. We tried different areas for achieving the re-entry. And we used uh, a Mongo and a, a Pilot 200. Eventually, we used the draft technique by Mauro Carlino, deflate, retract, and advance into fenestration. We did advance an undergrade balloon, then the balloon was inflated, then the balloon was deflated and withdrawn back into the guide catheter. At the same time, we advanced the retrograde guide wire, and by doing that, we were able to essentially suck the wire back into the guide extension. We then externalized an R350 guide wire, and uh, predilated the right coronary artery. So at this point, we were very happy that we've made great progress. But unfortunately, there was a waste on the on the stent. We thought we had expanded well, but after placing a 3 by 38 there was still a waste in the stent. Also, another problem is that we did not really have much flow going undergrade. We did IVUS that uh, demonstrated stent under expansion within uh, that uh, segment in the proximal to mid RCA. We treated multiple high pressure balloon inflations without success. And then we did use intravascular lithotripsy with 50 pulses with a 3.0 millimeter shockwave balloon. And this actually successfully expanded the lesion. So that proximal cap was extremely calcified and resistant, but lithotripsy eventually was successful in expanding it. We had the guide wire actually not going in the PDA, but more on the posterior lateral. So we used a Sasuke dual lumen microcatheter to try to wire into the PDA. But unfortunately, the wire would not advance. And then performing dual injection, it now becomes apparent that there's a second CTO. There was a CTO of the mid-RCA, but we also have a CTO of the PDA as well. So we advanced uh, a guide uh, microcatheter and then using a Gladius Mongo, uh, we were able to successfully cross uh, the PDA CTO relatively easily into the distal vessel. Unfortunately, it was a balloon uncrossable lesion. The microcatheter would not go. We used the Subfire 1.0 millimeter balloon to predilate, 
and then we were able to get progressively larger balloons and uh, now we do have T3 flow going into the PDA. At this point we wanted to perform stenting so we didn't want to jail the retrograde guide wire and uh, we ended up removing it before delivering the stent. And this was a mistake because delivery was extremely challenging even though we did have the guide extension halfway down the right coronary artery we had a very hard time delivering a drag eluting stent to the PDA and in the process we actually lost access to the PDA. We tried to rewire with the Suzuki and we were actually able to rewire. And then uh, we decided to try to deliver another stand. Now, when we look at this, we thought that the wire was uh, in the right location. But then once uh, we ballooned, we do have now a small perforation so actually what and now we've repositioned the wire so what had happened is that the wire was actually in one of the branches of the posterior lateral the wire was not into the main posterior lateral but the wire was in one of the small branches we did not appreciate this and by flaring the balloon now have a perforation in this area we inflated a balloon more proximally to stop the flow and then we tried to deliver a pk papyrus but unfortunately the pk papyrus um, could not go quite all the way into the posterior lateral to occlude this branch. And then, trying to bring it back, it came off the balloon. The balloon came out, but the stand could not. We did a lot of fluoring, trying to figure out where it was. We could not really see the PK papyrus. Um, we had a prolonged balloon inflation stopping the undergrade flow in the right coronary artery and actually eventually we did have sealing of the perforation there is no more extravasation at the side of the right posterior lateral so we knew that the stent was lost so what we did is uh, we removed everything unblock and sure enough the papyrus stent was on the guide wire and here it is after being retrieved from the body we decided to stop at this point without trying to deliver more stents because we were actually at a fairly high radiation as well as contra dose, contrast dose with the plans to bring the patient back and fi finish standing off their RCA CTO. But we did have undergrade flow into the right posterior lateral. So there were many lessons from this case. The first one is the importance of having good guide support for any PCI, especially complex PCI. A big portion of the challenge of this case was the difficulty engagement. This anterior superior uh, takeoff was very challenging. We had a very hard time getting good support. Another lesson is that if the balloon doesn't expand fully, do not stand. In this case, we did not appreciate how calcified was the proximal cap until after we placed the 30 by 38 stand and the stand was underexpanded. But then intravascular lithotripsy was extremely useful, successfully expanded the stand. What we have made the big difference in this case is if we had not removed the retrograde wire before delivering the stand into the distal RCA and the PDA. Had we done that, we would have been able to stand all the way from the RCA into the PDA and there would have been no problem. But because we removed the retrograde wire a little bit too early, then uh, that created issues with the stand delivery that eventually was unsuccessful. Once we lost equipment, then we were able to rewire into the posterior lateral and to the PDA, but unfortunately the wire in the posterior lateral was not in the main vessel as we thought, but it was in a small branch. And then we, when we inflated the balloon, we got a perforation. So the lesson here is that when inflating a balloon, always you want to make sure that the wire is actually where we think it is and not in a smaller branch or maybe too far down the vessel. We tried to deliver a cover stand that was not successful, but prolonged balloon inflation did seal the perforation. And then by removing the entire system with wires, balloons, and guide extension, we were able to retrieve the lost PK papyrus stand. Thank you.